What's going on everyone? I'm Gold Gas. This episode is about how to service fully a Worcester CDI and the CDI Classic. I'm not going to cover everything you should do in a service. I'm just going to focus on this boiler. So if you don't know, either let me know or refer to your handbooks. If you add me on social media, or on Instagram or Twitter, then you can find some competitions, promotions and some plumbing disasters as well. If there's something in particular you want to see, drop a comment below and I'll see what I can do. If you enjoy, drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe. Push that bell notification button as well. If you don't do that, you might miss out on some uh, new videos that drop. Maybe some new promotions and new competitions. So it's worth doing. She is not a bad boiler this one actually. It's pretty, probably one of the best green stars they've done. With the boiler in max rate, go on the fan pressure test point and you're going to get a minus reading. Refer to the manual for individual outputs and then you want to check it whether the heat exchanger needs cleaning or not. In this case it does, so we're going to whip her open. First of all, you want to check the sight glass on the electrode bar. Run your mirror around it while it's in max rate. Make sure it doesn't steam up the mirror. If it does, you're going to need to change that electrode bar with one without the sight glass, which is the new style. Electrically isolate the boiler from the fuse spur and turn off the gas. I'm just doing it on the meter here because it's underneath, but there's a stopcock underneath. Then you want to undo the two nuts on the front of the heat exchanger. There's two on top, which are held on by some clips. So you want to unravel them. It's one at the back, which you only need to slacken. And then there's two on the fan as well. Got my burner seal kit with brushes. Electrodes held on by two screws, whip that out, check the condition, do they need to be replaced, check that red seal, does that need to be replaced, give the electrodes a clean up. Now we can take the top of the heat exchanger off and also the cover plate to reveal what's inside. Using the cleaning blade, go between the fins of the heat exchanger, be thorough, in and out, side to side. brush with the bristles on, go from side to side in the fins. Pull that burner out, then we're going to get ready to pour some water with either white wine vinegar or bicarbonate soda down there. plate, replace the seal around it and the clips they go in before the seal so they hook on nicely and they line up with the holes. Move the bottom of the condensate trap, be careful not to spill any on the electrics. Give it a clean out and fill it with fresh water. 
Now I'm going to use bicarbonate of soda today, mixed with hot water, not boiling water. But you can use white wine vinegar as well, both approved by Worcester. Make sure your bucket's underneath to catch the water, and then pour your solution down there. If you've got something that sprays or you're pouring a lot down the front, make sure that cover is back on. I've just got it off here just for the video purpose. You don't have to pour water down them, only if they're quite blocked up. I like to get a little squidgy bottle and also spray the front as well. Look at that, gleaming. Here's a pick of before and after. Also one that I've come across as well, which is pretty heavenly third up. Check the fan diaphragm. Make sure there's no splits and it's not sticking and also all the seals. If it is sticking a bit, you can always use a pencil and go around it and uh, it stops it from sticking so much, but you might need to replace it in the long run. You'll probably get a smell of gas when it fires up as well in the boiler. Put it all back together, make sure the seals are all in the correct position. And you can tighten those nuts with a 10 mil socket or a 13 mil socket. I think the rear one is. Now doing that negative fan reading again on the test point. And you want to check with your air mice, see what reading you should be getting. Should be a lot better from before. Again, while it's on max rate, check that seal on the electrode and the side glass. Make sure you haven't disturbed it or it's broken while you're putting it in. For your flue gas analyzer test, the CO2 percentage on minimum and maximum, this one is 9 and 9.6, plus or minus a figure for a bit of tolerance. Check your MIs again. And on the gas valve is the oil minimum and that is clockwise for higher and then anti-clockwise for lower and below the fan is a grey cap remove that cap and then you can get a flat head in there and it's the opposite directions for the minimum if you want to see more of the gas valve adjusting then you can check out the other video for the Worcester service and it will be on there, it's quite long so if you want to have a look Going back and forth, check the minimum, check the maximum, check the minimum again, just keep checking. Make sure they haven't changed while you are adjusting the other one. Check the flue and the condense. 
It must have been short on fittings this day. I've just put the condens straight into the waist here. Nice. That does it for this video. Thanks for watching.